कैप का टैप फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट मैनी ऑफ यू आर लुकिंग राइट नाउ बट I don't want to share with you the same way as other creators. I am going to share with you something better than CapCut 6 video editing apps. This is the right time to switch from the CapCut because right now everything is behind the paywall and you have to pay without payment, suffer with the watermark, the limited effects, ads, ads and over and over again ads. Hey guys, I'm Hamza from Android Ultra. I hope all of my viewers fine. request to new viewers subscribe to appreciate we have this type of interface on the ky cut app right now this is something really close to cap cut but not the same but the similar interface but right now we have few features available which is not in the even cap cut app it is available in the export settings and i will show you later in this video only missing thing i found is the We have not grass available as for now in this app, but effects overlay option, masking, blending, this and everything is available. In export, we have 1080p maximum bitrate features available in the export section of KY Cut app. Split ratio, frame interpolation, as well as we have enhanced quality option available in the export setting. I wish we have 4K, but don't as for now. Moving on, the second app called Pretty App. This app we viewed multiple times on the channel, comparison and separate as well. This type of interface in this app, a lot of tools available. But comes to video editing, we have right now the single layer video editing available in this app. This is specifically for the short content creators or the creators don't do any kind of overlay on the video. But color correction tools better than other apps. Pretty App app is best of the best when it comes to the color correction on the Android or iOS mobile devices because we have a lot of tools available which is not available in many other apps even the CapCut has less tools for the color correction as compared to Pretty App app this is the plus point and we have 4K export option available on the 60 fps this is another plus point of Pretty App app moving on the third app this one is the well known VN video editing application and uh, in my opinion this is just like the CapCut because people know the CapCut free video editing application only few things is behind the paywall or right now everything is behind the paywall and you have to bear with the ads as well VN is free of cost and you can do simple or easy video editing on this app overlay option is also available if you know and in my opinion when it comes to create cc subtitles this app is the best when it comes to subtitles in my opinion because this is a free option and in the free this app to the best subtitles dynamic captions for your videos this app has a bunch of plus points like speed curve no watermark 4k export you can create dynamic captions and we have also keyframes and the graphs available in the vn app which is another plus point only the downside in this app which one i missed the effects ai integration right now is missed in this app other than that we have each and everything only animations and effects is the weak point of the vn app in comparison to capcut moving on the next step blur blur app is also well known when it comes to graphic animations keyframe editing and something like you can do in the light motion but in this app you can do without any watermark and we have some ai features available free of cost as for now and you can do great video editing in the recent update this app got 60 fps i'm reviewing blur app since the first release on the android and when this app is in the beta I am one of the first creator on the YouTube which when we viewed the app on Android on the very first basis this app has some pro features which one you can watch at to use without any cost which one again the plus point for this app as i said earlier in this video this is not really close to capcut manual video editing but you can do something better than capcut once again this app cap to 1080p as for now maybe we have 4k available in upcoming or in future updates blur app is great option when it comes to the manual video editing and you really want to get 
the code results based on your preference. Moving on the next step, Wink app. This app reviewed multiple times on my channel. Separate review combination comparisons available on my channel. I compared with multiple video enhancers and the softwares. As you can see here from the interface, this app not lacks in the features. Even we have great AI tools available, which one is not in other apps available as of now. And this app is the best even when it comes to the retouch. For portrait videos, we have real eye tools also available for the video, which is the great one in my opinion. Some tools or the AI model required to download first time and then you can use it without internet at all. When you done the video editing, by clicking on the main layer, you have to make sure click on the tick button again here to save the settings or the editing. If you miss that, so all the editing is not possible at all without it. Right now, as you can see here, we have effects available, speed curve, spec ratio options, and the great filters available, just like the CapCut. Only missing feature uh, I really missed in this app in comparison to CapCut is the grass and the keyframes. Other than that, we have great options available in the export as well. We have GIF export option available at 1080p. Moving on the next step, which one is the spring and we viewed first time on my channel as well I'm the first one on the YouTube who reviewed the spring app on the very first basis and this app is really close to Kind Master if you are content creator or the old geek so you already know about Kind Master this is from the same developers even this app has something really close to use features as comparison to Kind Master, only the interface is vertical here and we have some new features available. We have keyframes and graphs available, each and everything is available. This app note lacks in any kind of feature in my opinion because we have each and every tool available in comparison to CapCut. This app is great alternative to CapCut because you can do a lot of things. Only this app lacks when it comes to animation and effects in comparison to CapCut. This is the great option as for now and maybe this would become the paid option as well. Maybe some effects and animations not available in these apps but maybe a lot of available which one is not in the cap cut. As for now these are the best alternatives I have found and you can use it right now free of cost. Make sure to let me know what you think about it and which one apps you already know and using. This is the video for today. Subscribe, like, share with others. See you soon with the new video.